Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Play the Hits. After a, what, like, three-week hiatus, we're back with some Devil May Cry. How you doing, Nick? Whoa, whoa, I thought we were playing oh, Zoo Tycoon. <laughs> the the R-rated version. I held on to that joke for a month. How did it go? It, it landed very well. It, I, I liked it, you know? It's... A resounding thud. Well, hey, <laughs> that's going to be the, uh, that's gonna be the um, subline of my autobiography. So. A re- uh, Nick Weber, a resounding thud. A resounding thud. thud. Good <laughs> Lord. Oh, Does everybody I... feel like this when they hit their mid-30s? You know, I, I'm okay with my personality. So I'm yes, sure there were, okay. <laughs> there were some that would probably argue that point. Uh, I could live without like the random like interspersed just pains throughout my body. That would, that 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 would make me happy if those went away. Yeah, I hear they actually get worse instead of better. So. Yep. So. But anyways. <laughs> Hold on. Let me let me drink my sorrows here for a second. Uh, Nick, it's been a while since you and I have enjoyed a good Moscow Mule together. You know, I actually recently read that uh, Moscow Mules tend to strip the copper from the cup, uh, giving you some sort of level of poison from it. Hmm. No, oh, that'll expedite the process. But hey, everything process. kills you, so... Oh, this is way too sexual for me. This is not what I pictured Meat Hog is looking wait, like. Wait, the, the, the bird can talk? I, okay, I just thought they didn't animate his mouth. And, and it's it's like wisecracking. Boy, this is thing? this is great. <laughs> <laughs> now the only thing that would make this better is if they got fucking um, Gilbert Gottfried to <laughs> just reprise his role as Iago the parrot. Oh gosh, you know that man has exactly one voice, but you know. He gets by, damn it. This son of a bitch is going down, V! <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, all wait, right. so we, we stopped right before a boss fight last time? Okay, all right. Yeah, that's a good place to pick things up, you know? The time has come, and so have I. You know, I kind of miss Devil May Cry 3's soundtrack. It's the only one that I really know. This is the depth of my experience as far as Devil May Cry goes. Not 100% sure if I'm doing this the right way, or... You know, this really reminds me of a Legend of Zelda boss. Yeah, uh, the... the I, I feel like you're supposed to hit Wind Waker, right? And then... Yeah, 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 yeah. Or am I oh, thinking my... of the... Uh, oh, there we go. <laughs> the Twilight plant from... What was the dark one? Uh, Twilight Princess. Twilight Princess, yes. The needlessly dark one. You know... You know, I was going to defend it, and then I realized how apathetic I was about that game, so no, forget you know, it. <laughs> it's not a bad game. It, it it's actually, not a terrible game. No, it actually had terrible. some of my favorite dungeon design out of all of the 3D Zeldas, strangely enough. Yeah, yeah, back when we did take dungeons for granted, huh? Yeah. Oh, I just got hit by something. That's That's never quite happened before. Yeah, this is playing out exactly like a Zelda boss. Except now we've got a uh, big boy here to help us out. Oh, he's got a big boy too. Oh wait, no, no, he's, that's our okay. big boy. The rock golem is yours. Okay, for some reason I thought you were like summoning was limited to organic creatures. Oh, he's got hit again, Nick. Well, Should be happening. Your You'll be fine though, I'm sure. Yeah, it'll be okay. I can summon his uh, friends back to help. Back him. to this. Son of a bitch. Well, I mean, they spent a lot of time, you know animating those monsters you knew they'd bring them back like at least one more time they could you know. not yeah i mean what I if mean, we, uh... it's, it's like one of those like you know uh three or four health bar phase parts of the enemy right i kind of feel like i'm not doing this right Well, I mean, it's 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 a hack and slash. I mean, more or less, you just mash X into the monster's face until it's dead, right? Well, you know, common misconception about Devil May Cry, it's not quite hack and slash. Ugh. The I mean, extent they're... of uh, my Devil May Cry experience comes from... What was that one game that wasn't Devil May Cry? 
Damn it, Dante's Inferno. Yeah, yeah right. Which which is you know quite similar in in flavor. Though, if if that's a direct ripoff of anything, though, I, I've heard God of War. But then God of War could arguably call the Devil May Cry ripoff. I don't know. I feel like that's. I feel like that one's a close one. You know, I never. I never played. Um, God May Cry. God May Cry. <laughs> <laughs> Got that mixed up. You know, strangely enough, that's the uh, subtitle for my autobiography. <laughs> oh gosh. Six skills, bro. You got a. Well, you got yourself an SS uh, lightning bolt tattoo there. SS six skills. Um, but the anyway. Rhythm is gonna get you. The rhythm is gonna get you. Okay. Yeah, my, my extent of God of War was uh, playing through uh, oh! Lords of Shadow. I've been harmed again, Nick. Yeah, Lords yeah, of Shadow. Yeah, he's gonna try to kill you. Wow, you're kind of chewing through. Okay, there, there, there's his bodies again. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Good things come in threes. Three yep. times. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What do we got here? What do we got here? I mean, here? This, it, it's basically a tentacle monster. I mean, right? Yeah, I, I just hope it, uh... Uh-oh. Oh, no. Nick. Give up? Use orbs? Wait, what? What? what I... Hey, what Wait, okay, you can revive or... I don't know. What do you What do you think I what, should what do? What does the yellow one do? Give up! <laughs> you got to You got to use an orb. Yeah, what the hell? Yeah, what the hell? I, I wasn't expecting to actively have to dodge. You know, that that was an interesting mechanic, huh? There he goes. Oh my. Oh, yeah, he's in that 10% of his health bar mode, which is far harder than the other 90%. Yeah, right. That's that's usually how it goes. Why won't you lock on anymore, V? V! Get him! Get that boy! Oh, God, the others have regenerated. Oh, wait, no, okay, never mind. You, you got him, you got him, you can do this. Coming at you, baby! <laughs> Uh-oh. All right, well, now I'm just getting careless. Of course, that's what happened in my uh, Nero boss fight, too, and that ended up okay. Yeah, you, you got him. You got him. He's, he's just about We're going to be fine. I don't even see any health on that bar. We're going to be just fine. And, you know, I can always summon my golem again here in a little bit, so. Oh. All right. Golem time. Just to be sure. <laughs> that, that was, was awesome. an adorable belly flop. He just dropped from the ether. Geronimo! I was sleeping. Who disturbs my slumber? There hey, we go. There we go. All it took was one of the most valuable items in the game, you know? What do you say? Used on the second boss. I hate when you, um... When you use a revive, and then you kill the boss almost instantly, as, as though to say this revive was not really necessary, you just suck. Or even, like, when you pop a valuable... Oh, alright. I guess that got worse. That was the warm-up, yeah. For once, I agree with Chris Angel. <laughs> and his wife's cracking too, can. What? This really needs to be Gilbert Gottfried. <laughs> An opportunity was missed. It really was. I mean, they they knew what they had to do. Just <laughs> one, one does not simply create a wisecracking parrot without consulting Gilbert Gottfried. <laughs> They're gonna punish me for that. Yeah, I got a B because I had to revive. That sucks. Surprised they don't put a red mark on your profile on the title screen going forward. <laughs> yeah, coward. <laughs> the only way to get rid of it is to... <laughs> I mean, 
<laughs> this is this is the mark of shame similar to would you like to play as super luigi you got a b for bitch <laughs> <laughs> an s for super luigi <laughs> <laughs> That would be something Nintendo. It's an S for Super Player. Because you used Super Luigi. I don't want you to feel bad, though. Super meaning uh, special. (laughs) (laughs) Mario pats you on the back, but then he won't look you in the eye. Yeah, right. Oh, shit. What just happened? And why did it happen? All right. Technical difficulties here. How you doing there, Nick? I am here. Okay. Well, uh, we just got like a random like screen shit. So cease and desist order. Gotcha. Yeah, so I'm like Gilbert Gottfried's lawyers are like shutting down this <laughs> right. shutting down this stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, la- lady looks like she's feeling a little better. Hey, what happened to lady? I don't. Okay. Well, it has been a month, Nick. I mean, she she burst out of the shadow monster. Uh, Nero's the last time oh, he played as Nero. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it was one of those weird Japanese things where you kill the monster and then a lady pops out of yeah, it. Yeah. Then it turns out it was just a sexy naked girl the whole time. <laughs> Boy, I only have sixteen thousand orbs. Huh? Suddenly we're we're in need of orbs. Who are you buying these for? Uh, this would be V. Oh, okay. All right. It's something see. called Hedgehog. Speaking of hedgehogs. Speaking of hedgehogs, what did you see today? <laughs> I cannot believe that Sonic comes out on Valentine's Day. I know, right? That is uh my my brother Dre, he is he is pumped. He is he is freaking ready to go and see this thing. First day, and I told him, Dre, we are not gonna see this movie on Valentine's Day. Come on, don't you love Sonic? <laughs> that's exactly what he said that's awesome <laughs> but i love sonic and, and i'm like like okay this kid is 10 years old he's just young enough like maybe he's got a couple more years left of childlike innocence and um yeah i don't want to explain to him that everybody who's gonna be in that theater is only there for an excuse to make out <laughs> or they're just smoking a lot of weed and watching sonic the hedgehog interact with jim carrey well i mean you know Anybody in the theater is a plus at this point for uh, the North Town Mall. Mm. That's right. They're, they're still hanging on to the movie theater, at least, aren't they? Yeah, you got the movie theater sometimes and hot rice, which somehow six out of seven times I've gone there, I get sick and I still keep And you eating still it. go back. Yeah, right. <laughs> if I'm, Fool me once. If I'm not mistaken, you guys also have like one of the last functioning JC Pennies in America, don't you? Or did that get uh, shut down? I'm not down? sure if that's gone or not. Oh, is that right? All right, so I'm coming at you, baby. So I don't... Apparently, there are some combos that you're in charge of with V. It's not just mash the buttons. It's more like rotate the joystick and mash buttons. So it's rotate the cooldowns, essentially, right? Yeah, let's see if I can do a little better this time. ha <laughs> ha uh-oh. That guy wanted we didn't to hurt find the hedgehog. Oh, well. Uh-oh. Ugh. But yeah, Troy Polamalu posted on Facebook today, hey, th- <laughs> thanks for the free screening. My my kids really enjoyed it. <laughs> right. I saw that, um, and I laughed so hard. <laughs> I mean, I'm the cleanest guy in the NFL, and I had to do some drugs to get me through it. But, you know, it was, my I kids mean, thought know, it was raucous. You know how that conversation went. How did the mo- how was the movie, Mr. Palomaro? My kids liked it. <laughs> what did you say? How did you feel about it? My kids liked it. I got three Super Bowl rings. You leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting for that to be the quote on the back of the DVD box. My kids liked it. My Troy kids Palomaro. Liked it. <laughs> now, personally, I thought it was unbearable, and I saw the force rises with sky what the hell is that movie called sky- skywalker unleashed oh. oh skywalker unleashed yes no I, rise of skywalker that's not what it was rise of sky okay the last jedi okay they had no business having the rise of... i get those two movies mixed up leave me alone rise of skyrim <laughs> wouldn't it be great tomorrow's headline uh Troy Polamalu, devout Catholic, renounces faith. 
<laughs> that Sonic movie. No, no one. Stuff to it. No one can put the pieces together. <laughs> <laughs> I'll still go to see the movie just on the off shot. Hope I will demand my money back if the after credits scene does not have Knuckles in it. <laughs> hey Sonic, uh, you mean to tell me you just took down a whole robot army without blowing that whistle? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Knuckles, I was on a strange planet. I didn't know if you were here or not. Believe me, buddy, wherever that whistle is, there is Knuckles. <laughs> oh, my oh so there's some health regeneration. Could have used Gee, that. Uh... Time. Yeah, right, could have used that there, a little there's, early. There's no worse feeling in playing a game than using your best heal item because you think you're about to die and the boss is almost Let's dead, and this. then it turns out you don't need it at all. Yeah, right. Waste of that elixir. But Which is a joke because I never use elixirs. They're no, elixirs are just there for show. They're, they're a trophy that only sell for one gill. Indeed. Yeah, that's right. They're not even worth selling. It's as though the game is actively urging you to use them, but damned if, if they don't release some DLC final boss 10 years from now, and I'll be sorry right? that I used all those elixirs. <laughs> I mean, I mean. That's why I haven't used any, any on my uh, PS1 Final Fantasy V <laughs> right. run. They know? may very well, yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> they have Ultima Weapon, but, you know, Omega Weapon could still... Oh, wait, no, they do have Omega Weapon. Ruby Weapon could show up any day now. <laughs> you know, I remember playing through Five very sloppily the first time, like when I was, I don't know, like 18 or so. And then I went back at the age of 24 or 26, and I was like, all right, the entire purpose of this new run through is to take down Omega weapons. So yeah. I stockpiled all these items and stockpiled all my XP points, and it went down eventually. Do you? Use... I, I, I just never remembered having invested sixty hours in uh, in this grudge match that I had been building up in my mind over all those years. Right. Well, what is your Omega strategy in FF Five? I'm always I, curious. I, didn't it? basically always boiled down to the mines uh, there's a couple ways you can make it work uh, I think I think I might have done like uh, eight thunder lances with double dual wield okay, I don't yeah, know it's that's a, a good one and just x strike them to death um on second thought, maybe it was that I was playing some sort of really defensive game against Omega. Because... I, I tend to lean on my buffs heavily in that game because it's one oh. of the few Final Fantasies where they're actually useful. Well, he's He's got that thing where if you physically attack him, he counters with rocket punts that confuses everybody. Mm -hmm. So you have to do something specific. Well, you have to have mm. your ribbons ready to go. Yeah, that's what it was. But there's not four ribbons. I remember that. No, so you got to have Kryl and Lena or whoever your healers are. Hey, there we go. What was your strategy, since I clearly don't remember mine? Um, my, mine was similar. I think I did have Ferris um, with the uh, the Thunder Lances and X-Strike. Um, so that she would attack eight times uh, and just, like, tear them apart. And then I would have basically every other character on cleanup after that. Okay, I gotcha. I also Cause... tried to appropriate the uh, Shinryu strategy of, of jumping, but... Um, because of Omega's counters, it doesn't work as well. Yeah, see, Shinryu goes down easy in that game if you invest the time into getting right. eight Dragon Lances. Right. Well, sh yeah, that's right. Shinryu, there's a very defined strategy. Omega, there's not. There, Omega, you actually have to have some skill. Like Shinryu, if you invest the time, <laughs> yeah. you're gonna you're gonna win. Yeah, I, I mean, there's no doing well against Omega. It's just constant damage control. Yeah. I mean, it, it's like being Trump's press secretary, right? <laughs> right, I'm, constant I'm, I'm damage sorry. control. I'm sorry. <laughs> or or uh, V's pet parrot, apparently. <laughs> constant damage control. <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't resist. Right, the powers of hell are coming to Earth. Right. <laughs> Honestly, I think that's the first time I've laughed all week. It's been a miserable week. Oh, really? Oh, that's right. Tax season. My, um, my well, condolences. Here's the thing is that I don't, I'm not doing taxes. I'm actually uh, printing up tax forms now. Now I'm on the other side of the table. Now I'm the guy who makes the W-2s and does the reporting and everybody bitches out. Now Nick is the one who knocks. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Boy, it's a while since I've heard that quote. You know, it was so played out for, for so long that it got stale. And now I think it's just fresh enough again because... 
You have to remember there's a whole generation of viewers now who have no clue what ba Breaking Bad is or why it was good. Yeah, that was really one of those first couple shows that was like a, a blockbuster hit mm -hmm. on cable. Well, that wasn't that didn't belong to one of the major networks either at the time. Oh, that's right. That's what meant. That's what made AMC. Yeah, it, it kind um, of it kind of started this trend of like kind of small ind independent like uh, film studios making their own like story like like you know four or five season stories that aren't meant to belong to yeah are, are, are basically it's it's almost like the art house film movement but you know 50 years later and for television <laughs> you know i really get the feeling that um breaking bad would have been a netflix series had it come out a few years later oh yeah well and in fact netflix pretty much bought it didn't it because oh, that, yeah. that's where uh, <laughs> that's, that's how i watched it right idiots. yeah well and, and that that they released the the film so okay now are you ready for some uh breaking bad um not trivia fun fact weird facts factoids yeah factoid hit me did you know that there is um an entire uh oh gosh i'm watching this okay so concerning breaking bad they did a shot for shot remake of the entire series with a spanish cast no shit yeah um it, it was uh, they wanted Wait, to make is, it is, like tu a, is tuco a white guy though in they, this they wanted to be <laughs> good question they made tuco white he, in, instead of like this really aggressive mexican guy he's like a neo-nazi and then the neo-nazis are just like actual spanish, spanish people <laughs> yeah like actual spanish people <laughs> that would be awesome oh my gosh but no i was flipping through it and i mean essentially there needs to be a third version that you and i direct it's exactly how it sounds it's um it's the same number of episodes it's line by line the same exact show but with um with latino actors uh huh. just doing every single scene verbatim that'd be cool i mean i mean assuming the actors are good not not I just mean, like a... i don't know i guess it was okay i just one of those things where it's like well why not put a little bit of a spin on it no i mean it's like word for word the same show which is mind-boggling what do they do every time jesse says bitch is it still bitch or is it like cool i think I, I th whatever the Spanish equivalent is. Uh, I think it's culo, but I, I, I don't know Spanish. Um, but yeah, so that's just, I guy, I just had to wonder like, why does this exist? M most because of, go ahead, go ahead. No, you go ahead. I was gonna say mo most of my working knowledge of Spanish slang comes from uh, Anthony Bourdain's kitchen confidential. <laughs> 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 oh. Still a great book. Yeah. Well, well, anyways, a little bit you, sad now, but you know. If if you ever want to look it up, it's called Metastasis. 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 The whole series, instead of Breaking Bad, it's just Metastasis. And they really strain to like do the Breaking Bad motif, you know, with how it fits in the periodic table. Yeah. That they had to kind of stretch that, but anyways. Uh, L oxygen, L bromium. <laughs> Oh, Chris no, I think it's racist. like metastasis is some sort of like uh, Spanish word for cancer. Oh, OK. That makes sense. Yeah. So this is just how some people cope with cancer in America, <laughs> you know, <laughs> which um, isn't inaccurate. But um, met, met, uh, pff, metastasis. I'm sorry. Breaking Bad was one of those shows I didn't immediately appreciate. But uh, yeah. after it ended, I really came to appreciate the subtleties and uh themes and uh foreshadowing and all that it was yeah. a really one well done series i'm surprised it is and it did i agree with you it did not pick up for me until they introduced gus fring oh yeah i mean <coughs> well, like until they had the a, first an equally captivating seasons, villain so. you know <coughs> sorry yeah those it, first two or three seasons i could uh take or leave those but i mean they were all important because they showed the overall character arc of Walter. You know? Oh, yeah, absolutely. And you can't have seasons four, five, and six without any meeting until you have yeah. that character establishment. Oh, God bless me. <laughs> God bless you. All right, who else wants a piece? Now, I can ride this golem, correct? Uh, I believe that I was an upgrade you and I purchased. Yeah. How do we do that? 
Oh well, doesn't matter. Well, now, now he's now he's oil. Now he's back to being one with the earth. Damn, my panther is kicking ass. And yes, I am just button mashing at this point. Oh, why is he why is he extracting why? its thorax? <laughs> <laughs> That was an odd scene. <gasps> that, that, that was like uh, Oblivion levels of goofiness. Yeah. Reminds me of Zoc Dr. Zoidberg. Okay, now let's get a look at that thorax. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, all these years later, I still can't do... I, I do a couple of decent impressions. I can't do Zoidberg. For the life of me, I cannot imitate that voice. He's a little difficult to do. I mean, not for some people. I've heard some people who are just like, you know, can just turn it on, you know? But I am not one of them. Hubert um, Farnsworth, um... I, I can do a decent Hubert Farnsworth. I cannot do... I can't do Bender, and I can't do Zoidberg. If I remember correctly, um, Zoidberg's name came from a novel that, um... A script that I think Matt Groening was trying to pitch originally called Zoids. Oh, really? Yeah, and then Berg was like some sort of Jewish writer that he found funny. And then he just kind of portmanteaued them into Zoidberg. That's awesome. This is going to drive me nuts. What is the um, the movie that Zoidberg tried to make about the president's son? I want to say it was All the President's Sons, All the President's Men. I mean, it was a parody of All the President's Men. Right? Okay. Yeah. This game seems to think that I'm good at playing as V until a boss fight shows up yeah i was gonna say uh, all of a sudden the difficulty i don't know if it spikes or the game just drops its pretense and stops wanting to make you feel good yeah something like that Ooh. Um, oh why did i do that did you hear the rumor about um resident evil 8 yes and i hope it's true um resident evil right hear? now i i heard that it may have like we might get some like leaked information about it soon uh i had heard that um it's going to keep first hey. person and yes it's going and to keep... ethan will start yes, it again and yeah. ethan and zombies and i'm on board for like 66 percent of that what don't um, you like ethan oh okay well you know that that's the thing when they moved it to first person they kind of needed a protagonist that was just like a blank enough slate that you could kind of just insert yourself into him. Oh, no, that's fine. Fine. That's fine. Ethan was fine for that game. But the thing about Ethan is the thing about um, dead space is it works because it's just an average Joe thrown into a situation like that. Just trying oh, to survive. Right, but now they're like calling on Ethan to do like covert missions or something. Yeah. And it's like, okay, all right. I mean, yeah, not, that, that could not, suck. Not now, yeah. But, um, I mean, I know that the first-person shooting perspective is not traditional of Resident Evil, but... Uh, well, it's becoming, I, I guess. It. Yeah, and, me and too. And I think it's it a good idea when a series knows how to innovate. Right, exactly. And, and and not only that, though, like, I mean, I'm willing to give them the benefit of the doubt on Ethan. Maybe he's just, like, a really unlucky guy. You know, like, he gets out <laughs> of the baker's house, and then he, uh, he just finds himself, like, in a zombie-infested no-man's land for some reason. Call? Call who? Did he really need to do that with the cane? To... All right, whatever. Dante, please. I'm so weak. I need you. <laughs> hey, I could use a hand. Uh, that's literally what's going on. Yeah, except he's calling the stripper. <clears throat> Three hours later. Yeah, right. He he just really has to pee. <laughs> But yeah, I, I'm I'm excited for what I've heard about Resident Evil Eight, and um, you know, I'm just glad that they're even doing one. So, that was awesome. So, um, the, my car uh, did that once. The way that I see it now, um, they have kind of two different genres of Resident Evil kind of being released side by side. They have the Resident Evil Two remake formula, which now is with Resident Evil Nemesis is being kind of turned into just like glorified cat and mouse with uh first mr x and now uh nemesis and then they mm -hmm. have kind of like the main <clears throat> series with, with resident evil 8 picking that up and um again I, I think it would be kind of stupid for them to like suddenly make ethan just like this covert ops like shadow warrior kind of person um but at the same time i mean 
my, it's Resident Evil, and my <coughs> suspension of disbelief has <coughs> never been that frail. So, you know, <laughs> that, that I mean, okay. I, I can, I'm sure that if that's what happens, I can, I can get over it. It's not the worst crime perpetrated upon gaming, I suppose. No. <coughs> or or maybe it's like that you know resident evil 8 picks up 10 seconds after 7 ends like the helicopter just goes down and he's right back in the baker residence oh god that would be hilarious <laughs> he just like starts putting the pieces back together i thought we already got get more orbs oh we only got that for nero what why do i have to get that twice i call but you bullshit got it for nero yeah, I call bullshit Devil May Cry. That's, that's Nero's skill tree. It's not associated with yours. Seriously, I guess. Double check. Sure. All I'm really doing is button mashing, so this just increases the odds that whatever buttons I'm mashing will actually do something. <laughs> okay, all right. <coughs> that works. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm down with that. So I'm, I'm really excited for the Resident Evil 3 remake. Um, just because, you know, they they realized that they had something special with Mr. X, and now I'm excited to see that, like, done to an even greater degree with Nemesis. Well, I mean, I think it's just that um, Capcom knows they can make an easy buck. I oh, mean, yeah, sure, but as know. long as they do it well, I'm I'm fine right. with them doing that. I mean, and it's, I mean, it would be fiscally responsible fiscally irresponsible not, not to, to do, do that it. right exactly know? yeah so. and, and and there there is the silver lining here which is you know the part that everyone thought was most memorable about resident evil 2 basically already existed with resident evil 3 but now they can you know do more with it and um with nemesis 2 you have you know a much more open environment there's a lot more options and like ways to interact with him it i i think uh whereas mr x you know ended just like a hair too soon in resident evil yeah. 2 mm -hmm. yeah ne nemesis yeah. can kind of scratch that itch a little bit more oh what is that what? <laughs> this is an... jafar steal the lamp from a land by the way this week um with connor i watched the um live action remake of uh, aladdin on disney plus and has he wasn't... watched the original yes yeah okay All right. and Go on. you know of course i have too and um it was good like it was surprisingly good for like you said kind of an obvious cash grab the one mm. thing that was bizarre though they made the parrot fucking creepy i i mean <laughs> have you seen it have you seen this film i've not um so like you know, it goes for kind of like a lighthearted Disney adventure. But then the parrot is just like, you know, in a different movie, like he could be like the harbinger of death, you know, that, that like shows he's up like to straight claim... up a Stephen King movie or yeah. some, some such. Like he's pecking out like, you know, Aladdin's eyes. Yeah, that that's exactly right. Like, I, I kind of feel like they had like a different writer just for the parrot and he didn't quite know what genre he was making. <laughs> All the well, I mean this, this this parrot, you know this this parrot will bring in the uh, teen crowd that needs their edgy stuff. Wait, two bosses, one episode. That sounds like a uh, video I don't want to watch. Two girls, one boss. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> oh um, no, Nick! I'm not really you know, hitting this, him that much. This horse reminds me of a weird series I came across on um, Amazon called Dinosaur Nights. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a hypothetical world in which instead of riding horses, dinosaurs, uh, knights tamed dinosaurs and rode them. That's awesome. And that's really all the series has got going. <laughs> I, I like to look for these weird series on uh, Amazon since anybody can self-publish. Yeah. Well, you would not believe how much uh, oh, shit. Bigfoot smut is on there, though. Bigfoot smut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I man. mean, that, that's that's the best uh, I can, the cleanest way I can describe. I mean, Bigfoot pornographic fan fiction. Bigfoot. There's a lot of it too. Bigfoot stars in My Filthy Feet, <laughs> featuring Brandy Max. <laughs> oh no! Well, I dodged that somehow. Oh no! This guy's just an asshole. 
I'm glad I have not called the golem in yet, because, uh... You're gonna need that guy. Yep, I am absolutely gonna need that guy. I also had this weird experience when I bought a uh, Wheel of Time book. Amazon immediately said, people who buy the Wheel of Time also buy Luigi's Mansion 3. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right, Amazon, if you say so. You sure you're not just trying to uh, grind my gears here, Amazon? <laughs> Then again, I guess I probably could have bought toothpaste and, you know, it would have been like, you know, Luigi's Mansion 3 just <laughs> yeah, came right. out. People who bought Crest uh, Whitening Toothpaste also bought Death Stranding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh, I, guess All right, I think it's time to suplex this guy with my ogre. With your ogre. Your ogre. Why? You know, I've never figured out why... Um... Shrek is this like big millennial meme um uh, because I think it came out right at the height of Smash Mouth's popularity and it was kind of like before memes were a thing so the movie mm -hmm. itself was basically like a prototype meme wow that golem did jack shit <laughs> he was my one hope yeah he did fuck all of that <laughs> he was our last great hope oh no he's doing the thing again where he like, mercilessly charges me. He runs and there's no way to dodge. Okay, well, there we go. It's kind of like the Ganondorf boss fight, but, uh... He's, uh... Yeah, he's not it, taking crap In the, time. uh, the, the, the forest temple. This room... Yeah, t keep doing that, Panther. Okay, but actually hit him. Oh, God. Okay, that's the one move that is hitting me. It's fucking... <laughs> it seems like he's getting you on the third one pretty consistently. Yeah. I'm sure there's a trick to it, like... Uh... See, I, I was lied to. I was led to believe that the, the V sections were just button mashers. There we go. That was a hit. Reminds me of the weird, like, uh, tracking in Oblivion, where, like, uh, every time a spell or an arrow is shot, it anticipates where you're gonna go. So if you just zig and zag left and right real quick, nothing will ever hit you. What, why am I stick? Why do I still have a D for dismal? All right, <coughs> Golem, suplex him. Snorlax, you suplex. I mean, it is basically Pokemon at this point. Right. Hey. <coughs> Use your Zappy Blast. <laughs> oh man, why did Ego Raptor ever stop animating? Because he only ever had three jokes to tell. I don't know. He's pretty. He's pretty raucous on Game Grumps still. I mean, funnier than we are. <coughs> Matter of opinion, I suppose. Oh! Oh no! If I have to use another revive, I'm gonna be pissed. I still don't think I've ever forgiven Ego Raptor for being on the gamer. On the what? The gamer. It was like this reality show for gamers. It was like Big Brother, except even more cringeworthy. Oh really? <coughs> Fucking get him. You know, it was from that weird, awkward era six years or so ago where, like, every video game, you know, where, like, um, they tried to move gaming into, you know, like, reality TV and stuff. Oh, but... yeah. Dude, do you remember, um, what was that network called? Like, <laughs> G4 TV or something like that? It was, like, all video games all the time, but it kind of forgot that the internet was a thing. Or, I guess it started, like, before you could get any piece of information on God's Green Earth from the internet. Yeah, yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. I think it was G4 TV. Oh, God. I'm about to get smote. Oh, Are you no, kidding no, me? No, 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 no. Well, at least we got that gold orb. Son of a bitch. <laughs> now now look how close to him. death he is. Yeah, right now all I have to do is give, give him a little love tap and... Here we go. Oh, down he goes. Down he goes. Okay, V, you got to actually... Yeah, there you go. I was going to say, yeah, he's got to do the Kratos thing where he gets close to finish him by, like, I don't know, like ripping the horse's head off and shoving it down his throat. That was not cool, what just happened. Look at this fucker just walking away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to let you live this time. I must chase him. You know what, uh, that was too easy. I'm gonna go home and, uh, you know, just 
Just tell my friends what a bitch you are, because it's so I mean, easy. really, you beat the hell out of his horse. He was probably fine. Yeah, right. Yes. But what if the boy? The boy? He looks like ten years older than you do. <laughs> that is one shiny bird. Rat, Disney's budget for special effects has gone through the roof. Rat. <laughs> Aflac. Oh wait. Can um can the Lion King live action movie that came out, I mean, is that considered animated or live action or what? Well, it's definitely animated because everything's CG, but it's, you know, I, is it's CG meant animation? to You know, ha I mean, ha having actually seen it, it is impressive. I mean, even if you don't care for the film itself. It's 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 oh, a no, technical I'm just, achievement. Like, legit question because I I think this was like a question the Grammys or something was asking. Like, mm -hmm. is it animated technically or? Well, yeah, they didn't have real talking lions, so. Well, they didn't in the original movie either. Well, and that was animated. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was animated. Okay, is CGI considered animated? Yeah. Yeah, basically. But the thing or is, is though, with just that one, computer generated. So with the Lion King. The whole the, the the reason for all the headlines is, of course, it's one of the first uh, CGI films that really does blur the line between, um, you know, photorealism and and just like straight up reality. Um, there, there's only a few parts of the movie where, like, it even registered to me that you know I'm looking at a computer generated image. Mm -hmm. um, for for the most part, it's just like, hey. Those lions are fucking talking. <laughs> <laughs> and you were, you were how high? Check out these talking lions. <laughs> yeah. um, the Lion King were at the zoo. And unlike Aladdin, they didn't have any one character that just stood out as exceptionally creepy. The tomboy. I still like the rocket punch. Whoa, that's the one I want. I want the Dr. Zoidberg claw, please. <laughs> <laughs> one art, please. <laughs> All right. That's still my favorite Zoidberg line. One art, please. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do I have even? Let's stick with one for right now. These things are fucking expensive. Why, why do I have to watch her do this? Okay. Because, because they paid her a lot of money for the mocap. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's why she's center frame and everything. Ma'am, we can't help but notice that you're not quite pretty enough for Playboy. Um, how would you like to uh, do mocap? <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Remember that awkward phase where um, Playboy would have a um, game girl of the month where they would do a uh, centerfold oh, CGI girl? Oh, yeah, and girl? they did uh, Tris Merrill. No joke, the only episode I... Uh, episode. The only issue of Playboy I ever purchased was the Tris Marigold one. And not even for the, uh, you know, the the spank material i was just genuinely curious to see like you know if she was rendered like is is realistic and for what was that like 2010 i want to say it uh -huh. the witcher 2 really was impressive for kind of that late era ps3 style of uh graphics uh so much so that you know with the like the the right lighting and everything it, it did look like a legit model yeah, I always felt like Witcher 2 kind of got a little short-changed. Well, it, yeah, especially considering I didn't play it after not being able to beat The Witcher 1. Um, but then well, The Witcher 3... The Witcher 1 was terrible. So. Yeah, The Witcher 1 was a bad game. The Witcher 2 was substantially improved, but not quite as good as Witcher 3. So when I did play Witcher 3, I found it kind of hard to go back to 2, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, what the hell. We have 869 orbs. All right. I, I remember my brother asking me, like, um, hey, you, you watched all of Witcher 1. What's the story about? I was like, Geralt fights Harry Potter and the angriest Hawaiian I've ever seen. The angriest <laughs> Hawaiian? Who is the doctor <laughs> with the weird glasses? Harry Potter. He is the professor who is the um, guy that you get the pair of glasses from in Witcher 3 during the auction. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I, I knew his glasses did a cameo in... Which is yeah, yeah. He was some sort of professional assassin that got 
thwarted every time he tried to assassinate someone, so... Uh-huh. Makes sense. Um, so how do I actually equip those arms that I just bought? I feel like this was a problem last episode, too. I'm just gonna have to look it up. I'm gonna have to remember to fucking look it up between episodes. Ah, there's the last of my mule. Well, she ain't dead. <laughs> Got a pretty close body. I ain't no doctor, though. <laughs> well, after extensive surgery, she's not dead. And, uh... <laughs> I've never done surgery before, so I think that's a win. Yeah. What? Why didn't they put any clothes on her? Oh, he's too big to leave alone. He's too big to leave alone. What? What, what is this thing? I don't know, but I'm gonna kill it. It's your only. Oh, it's, it's here to help. It's <laughs> from War of the Worlds. Okay. It's okay. The uh, the oxygen in our atmosphere will eventually kill it. Then. Wait, is this a oh. boss number three for this episode? Lord, this game's just not trying anymore. Or maybe it's trying too hard. I don't know what the. Oh, now we're going Shadow of the Colossus. I see. Du -du 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 -du. This also is a tentacle monster. It's monster made out of tentacles. There's a distinction. You know, Nick, it was only a matter of time before you and I had our tentacle episode and uh, <coughs> play the hits. Well, and it would be from a Japanese game, no less. Oh, God, I'm so used to playing as V now that I can't remember <laughs> Nero's controls. That was great. This that is problematic. <laughs> this is not good, Nick. Oh, no. Where's my oh, wise no. cracking owl? Where's my rock goal? Okay, now, like, get up on his back and hit yep. him, I guess, right? Or no, ride him through the city. You bet that's what we're gonna do. Oh, no! Oh! I should have taken the warning! Oh, no! How do I dodge? What is happening? And here I was hoping you would just, like, chase him through the entire stage and then fight him at the end. Well, maybe that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, wait, no, yeah, he's, he's, he's taken right, off yeah. now. Yeah, I know, he's taken off. Oh, they heard my suggestion. Oh, no! <clears throat> is there a sprint? I forget how to sprint. Where's my bird? All right. I need a wisecracking parrot if this is going to work. Hey, total side note. You know dogs can get diabetes? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's ugly. Because they don't what? fucking understand. And really, it's your diabetes. fault when they do. It really is. That's the worst part. Yeah, like you did this. <laughs> what the hell is happening to me, Nick? <laughs> <laughs> Why am I so fat and still sad? <laughs> what do you mean I can't have any more food? That's the only thing that relieves my pain. Also, every time I eat, I hurt. <laughs> oh, God. Now you got me nervous about Rex. Right. This is adorable. Oh, I thought you were going to... Yeah, you got her to shoot himself, too. That's, that's Hey, great. stop that's shooting great. yourself. Oh, no. At least there's no fall damage. Now, that'd just be silly. Yeah, that would just be ridiculous. I can't think of a single Japanese um, game that does have fall damage. Um, yeah, that's a good point. Actually, Mario, strangely enough, if you uh, really brutalize the poor Italian. Some of them. Mario 64. Not Mario Odyssey. Okay. All right. A couple. A couple Did, a couple. uh, what's it? Whatchamacallit? I call it? Did Sunshine have Splash? Or Splash? Fall damage? I, I remember nothing about Sunshine. I like Sunshine, actually. 
I, I played it 100% to completion, but uh, it like just wasn't my cup of tea. Like, unabashedly, it's not even like, you know, it's not as bad as everyone says. Hey, look, starring Buck Futson. Wait, what? Where, where did this come from? I don't know. Apparently, I made a profile at some point, and, uh, oh, the, game, the game's up to my shit here. Oh, well, would you look at that? What are you doing down there? Actually, yes. <laughs> I bet she tastes like chicken. Oh, you ungrateful son. Let's fucking eat the parrot. Come here, Gilbert Godfrey. I must press on. Must you? Must you really, V? <laughs> I'm sorry. I must press on. Anakin, the counselor, is a Sith Lord. <laughs> right. We must hurry. I, I really <laughs> thought he was going to say something besides cockroach. I mean, it's not even the first five minutes of the game. Why is it saying starring Buck Futson? I don't know. Apparently, I did something cool. Oh, no. Or or in the case of uh, Phantom Pain, it's not um, every 15 seconds where it's uh, Hideo Kojima presents Hideo Kojima. Yeah, right. Starring in Hideo Kojima's game. Nick, the game may have glitched because I'm a... Uh... I'm scoring a lot of free damage here. Sorry, I'm in hyper focus mode again because this is usually the part where I start blowing the fight. Well, yeah, because, you know, again, the last 10% renders the last 90% completely useless. Yeah, right. You, oh, you thought you were doing well. That's precious. We, we don't need to be using a third yellow orb. Yeah. I did pick up one to make up the first one I used, but then I immediately blew it in the second boss fight. Oh, God. Down I go. Oh, no. Now my face hurts. Now, I wonder, do you need to attack the, the things that shoot at you? No, okay, I guess not. Nero's just fucking lighting him up. Check this out. No, I mean, he's not putting up much resistance. Eh? Yeah. Actually, no, this boss is not bad compared to the last two. Uh-oh. He's going to do a spiky like thing, though. I get more of a mini-boss than anything else. <laughs> really? <laughs> mini-boss is what you're getting out of this. <laughs> yeah, like a, like, like a jumbo shrimp. <laughs> like a jumbo fucking shrimp. <laughs> oh, man, Nick. You're saying you were having a shitty week? I just forgot. You need to get your ass to Bloomington. I know, I know. I say this every episode. But I got to treat you to some seafood, my friend. It's you been know, too long. That's, that's all I want is a bag of steamed seafood slathered in butter. One there's more a, time before I die. There's a new. There's both a new seafood place and a, new, a second hot pot location here in Bloomington now. Really? Yes. Now they got a competitor. Yes, which, which can only mean good things for the business because they're going to be fighting each other for who's the top dog or top, sh top shrimp. Who's the top dog? Is that a... Never mind. All right. Hey, wait, 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 wait. We can use that. Pick it up. Not that one. The other one. <laughs> what? <laughs> I love this. This is a great game, dude. No, no, no. Not that one. This one. <laughs> That's a dar that's an Arby's wrapper. Yeah, right. leave it to Devil May Cry to finally have some clever writing. Uh, <laughs> oh gosh, that was good. Hey, all right. It took me a minute to reacquaint myself with Nero's controls, but I guess that worked out okay. Yeah, um, I like how that just threw you directly into a boss fight. I, I kind of derailed there for a second, but um, speaking of good games, honest to God, like I actually really, really enjoyed uh, Mario Sunshine, and I think we should do it on this channel at some oh, point. Right, 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 right. Um, strangely enough, okay, you mentioned that. Um, I'm really, really into Condemned, so I can't wait to do more with that. I think Sweet. after I finish that, have you ever played Lost Planet? No, but I remember you saying some good things about it. Okay, that that I just realized I own it on Steam, so what I think that'll be my to? next project. That'd be awesome, dude. I'd, I'd be down for that. Yeah, there aren't any fucking roads, dude. It's all gravel. I like how she doesn't even question. You know, like 
Do you guys have any like actual clothes or? There's way too many dudes in this van. For... This is getting uncomfortable, guys. And let's be honest, the stripper girl might as well be a dude for as sexually aggressive as she is. <laughs> I trust him. I don't trust his fucking bird. <laughs> oh, gosh. Do not trust that bird. Wow, she's got a fucking neck. Like a swan. <laughs> yeah, seriously. I mean, I know this is Japanese and all, but... I mean, you could cut glass with her jawline. I don't want to know what we could do with those breasts. She, she, she looks amazing for being, what, 13 years old? <laughs> Hard to believe she's already 18. <laughs> but it's okay because she's actually a 300-year-old demon, so it's okay. Whoa, whoa, whose grave are we digging? <laughs> yeah, get up and start digging. You know, if we still did um, screen caps for our title cards, I know what we'd be using. <laughs> Okay, get those so sweet views. I just remembered. I think that not, not scene was was censored because they wouldn't release this game in China due to its decency laws. Oh, really? I I remember that shot of her butt for that reason. Well, you know that's kind of odd because <laughs> that's like that's not really even considered like um like flaggable on twitch anymore like butts Chris, are, these are chinese yeah. decency laws they won't even let uh overwatch play well, okay well they don't allow overwatch there so that you know they can okay. promote their own chinese version right side note do you feel like we're going just a little bit overboard on these arms now yeah i mean this is one of those things where why do i need 30 of these maybe i just commit to like 10 and really learn you know what it is? It's like Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Why there do I need go. 120 characters and 14 Ganondorfs and right. 11 Pikachus and and 17 um, Fire Emblem characters? <laughs> Boy, if, if nothing else from oh, God, that pissed Smash me off. Ultimate, they, they certainly seem to want you to play Pokemon and Fire Emblem. Yeah, dude, that pissed me off when they they were doing some like really interesting choices for the DLC characters, and then fucking another uh, Fire Emblem character. I mean, Fire Emblem is a fine series. I'm glad we're all in agreement there. But it's not like we didn't already have four of them, right? Like, no, it's not like we didn't already have twelve of them. I mean, <laughs> and half of them are just Marth clones. Come on, Tech of the Clones. Ugh. Yeah, I was disappointed by that. I mean, I thought I like I liked when they did cool stuff. I, I wish like Nintendo would be cool like it used to. Yeah, no, I remember um, when Nintendo I, was awesome? It, it just felt like such a letdown because I I was excited. Like I don't own the season pass, but I was always always excited to see what was next. Like Banjo Kazooie, and then the Hero of Light. It's like you never knew what weird crap you're gonna get next. Exactly. And so then, someone's now... saying it might be the Doom guy, and I'm like, I can believe that. And now you can bet that it's going to uh, definitely be a Fire Emblem, uh, Fire Emblem character. Um, anyway, next time on Play the Hits, we're going to continue this conversation. And uh, in the meantime, we'll just ogle these strippers. So we'll see you next time, Nick. Shake it, baby. Oh, yeah. Shake it. Groovy. Bodacious. Duke Nukem never said bodacious. That was the Ninja Turtles. I'm sorry. <laughs> what am I calling? <laughs> Can you picture the Ninja Turtles are in a strip club? Awesome! <laughs> Radical! <laughs> Tits! I mean, awesome! <laughs> All right. Oh, God. Now we'll see you next that time. Mental image. <laughs> Shut up, Donatello. You're killing my chub. <laughs>